Living Room is so awesome! Hi everyone, it's Molly from the m, &M Twins, and today I'll be doing another tour review. So today's tour review is Weaving Room. So I got this for Christmas, and basically, get a weave. I already have some on it right now. But you get a weave, this purple, my favorite color. Probably the, no, I think it's only purple, I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, you get this, it's weaving. It's really easy. And it comes, and then it comes with these. Just kind of and directions, which we don't care about. So let's just put it back in there. So, um, I already started on a weave and one thing, but I'm going to take this all off because. Speed this up. Okay, so I took it all off. It's kind of depression, depressing, because it took me like two hours to make that. Well, I didn't make it really. I'm really. Sure. Um, I think I have my other one. I'm gonna go get it. So, yeah, see you guys in like a second. Sadly, I couldn't find it, but let's just get on with weaving. So, first, you gotta pick your colors. I'm picking, um, pink, green, and blue. Oh, also white. So, yeah, those are the four colors I'm picking. It doesn't really matter if you do the same colors, and you're going to need way more things than these, but these are just my picking out of the colors. Okay, so this is how I set up, I guess. I set up. Um, so you need this thing, then you need your colors. Green. These. And we're going to start off by... I'm actually going to do... I'm going to skip the pink, no, I'm going to skip the um, green, and we're going to just do these three colors. This is kind of cotton candy, I don't know, I don't really know. So f first, what you're going to do is put like a cross to cross like that. So, so, this, this way. so like cross to cross, and you're just going to do that all the way, you can do any pattern, and yeah. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like this. I might have a little pattern. But you're not really done yet. This is just the first step. I'm trying to get a few. It's hard. So listen to the sound. Wait, if I put it like up here. Sounds nice. So yeah, that's the first step. Okay, so I got a good amount of blues, and I'm going to move that to the side and get my loom and do the second step. Oh, I thought this was the sluice, and I was like, oh, it came apart. Okay, but it didn't. Then. So, um, your next step, you want to get your next side, two sides. You're going to get this right over here, and you're going to put this under. Make sure that's on there. It's really complicated. And then, go like that. Oh wait, messed up right there. So, you get like a, oh no, sorry. Um, that, you go like that. Okay, so I've done this much so far. I gotta do a lot more, as you guys can see. So yeah, this is making me sweaty. Uh, okay. So I have this much done. Half of what I need. Okay, so I finished. Looks like this. It is like 10 o'clock. Almost 10.20. Basically 10.19. So, um, yeah. I started this, like, started today at like 8, 8, almost 9. And it took me about an hour. And yesterday I did it for an hour. So that's how long it takes me, and we're not even done yet. So, um, yeah, let's 
it. Let's go. Okay, so I finished the room, and okay, I think I've already said that, but sorry about that footage. Um, so now we gotta start off doing the next step. Okay, so the next step is so you get the cor one of the corners. One of the corners. I'll get the screen corner, and then you put it on your finger, and then you get the one next to it. You put it on your finger. And you take the green, put it there. Oops, sorry about that. Well, any color, if it is. And then it will click that. And you just keep repeating that step. Take the. Sorry if you guys can't see it that good. It's hard to explain the step because I don't really have a hook. I lost it, but um, it's fine because I didn't really like the hook, anyways. Just put that through. Yeah, just put a. And then put it right there, and then do it all the way around. So see you guys when I've done that. Okay, so I finished, and while you loom it, it just comes off the loom. So I finished, and this is the final thing. Right here. So you can use it for, like, putting on water. Or, like, whatever you're using on it. You can put your magical genie on it. Little well, wizard's brew. Right to there. Or you can put stuffs on it. So yeah. You can pretty do much do anything with it. And also if you want to make like a kind of pencil holder, like a good pencil. So it would go like this. Just put that through. So it would stand out like that or like that, like that, and so basically what you do is you need to get another color, I'll just use white for now, and actually no, I'll use, I'll use orange, okay, so, you would just literally just put this along here, like you have to tie it in, you don't need the loom, you just try to tie it in here along the way. I've made it before. And then you, t if you have room, you tie right here. Or you can just get another one. And then it should be like closed on both sides. And then the top thing will be open. Just slide that in there. And you have your pencil holder. Or, as I said, Wizard's Brew holder. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you liked this um, was just brew, brew holder. Okay, so you don't really need this, but this is just a example of a bottle. So you can use some, like, input. It's good for cooking, too. You can use it for cooking, like, to get stuff in the microwave. Like, I mean, well, anything. Like this. So we gotta get that. Go like that. And get it out. So yeah. You can also use it as a hat. Yeah! Okay, so please like and subscribe to become an official M&M. Uh, um, don't be a skittle. Bye!